a lovely viewer thank you once again for watching this channel if you're new you're so much welcome today i'm sharing another potato biscuit recipe yes i shared one earlier and i think that one if you don't have the asylum husk it's a bit hard to get it to bind properly and when you do it's often a bit flakier if you don't handle it properly because it comes more delicate unless you handle properly for you to get a good result so i just um worked around it a bit and i'm bringing to you one way to make it tough for it to be a bit more firm and you can handle properly so whether you put it in a ziplock in your bag or anywhere it's not going to break so this is what i call the anti-breakage um potato biscuits or cookies so what i begin by doing is that the potato flour i'm going to use i divide it into three then i use one part to form a very thick partly cooked dough it's not fully cooked so what i did was just put that in and add in my salt from there then i just stirred it up now one thing you should know is that the potato flour as it sits there sometimes it forms clumps it forms clumps together but don't worry, as you put it in your water and you mix, 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 it's going to dissolve and you can just have it on fire with a low medium heat and cook it up. The goal is just to make sure that it's a bit cooked. When it's cooked, it helps bind the rest of the flour. It's able to pick up the others. Now, when I was trying this out, I did one where instead of using water, I used milk. But I realized at the end of it, the milk didn't come true. But I when I just cook it with the salt and I'm done and I add in the milk and everything to the potato flour, the dried parts left, it comes out much tastier. So I just recommend you use some water and your salt and then you cook this over the fire for like three, four minutes. Yes, you don't really have to overly cook it unless you're doing a very big, large batch. So you just want to cook for you to see that the color has changed just a little and you have a consistency in there it shouldn't be too 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 runny else your dough is going to end up being too moist and when it's too cooked or too elastic you're going to have very stretchy stretchy biscuits so the rest of the dried flour i just added in the nutmeg and my milk powder and i added a little bit of baking powder in there because this is um, one of those biscuit recipes where you know potatoes doesn't rise much when you cook it so the baking powder is going to allow it to rise a bit then i just create a hole in the center then i add in the cooked um should i say do then i added in my essence as well to help with the fragrance in there so when i was done i just the aroma you know that stuff yeah so i just mixed everything together beautifully and then I went on further to use my hands to mold it into balls yes and it's always good you have the balls then you can move to the trays and arrange them properly or you can just go directly onto your trays but then I do the balls first and I put them on the tray then you can just find anything that's going to help you flatten it up so whether you have a container you have a glass or you have a cookie something just just anything that can help you um shipping it or flatten it you can maybe use a rolling pin to do it one 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 and put it in your tray so i used my tapoli yes it's a wooden um slicing grinder it helps you grind in our earthenware bowls we use for making our fresh pepper and grinding locally here in ghana yeah so once i was done i just preheated the oven at 270 for five minutes just to get the temperature in there well then i dropped it to Less than 180. Yes, this time around, I didn't use 180. I baked less than 180. So I realized when you do baking on a low meat, low heat for a longer period, it tends to dry it out. Yes, and I won't recommend you do low for too long, else you're going to get very, very hard and overly um, dried potato cookies which is going to be hard to chew so the best is that you stick to your 180 for about 10 15 minutes and you're done or you could do it for less than 180 which will be like very low heat 
for about 15 minutes or maximum 20 minutes so that's going to help it cook properly and you're still going to enjoy your potato cookies now if you've not tried potato cookies before they are so sweet naturally because of the sugars in there so you don't really need to add any sugar and they are very very healthy and because of the milk and everything it's like your health snack to move on with or to move about with so i'd really love you to try this recipe and give me your feedback because i definitely love it my folks love it too so let me see you in the next full video lots of love for my team and i don't forget to like subscribe and share bye bye